Hey, what's up guys? Today is August 7. Um, I'm currently at Pleasanton. Uh, tonight will be my first night going to a night market in the U.S. Night market uh, flu stand. This is called the 626 Night Market. Currently walking into Alameda Fairground in Pleasanton right now. Oh, it's kind of dark. This is better. Right now it's almost 8 p.m. I believe. It took about almost an hour just to get in because we couldn't find any parking. It's really hard. The the line itself to, to get into the parking is really long. Almost there. I'm actually in the fairground right now. Get okay, coming in. You see a lot of people walking outside. Just trying to get in. Walk around. So we are almost there. Getting close. I'm gonna show you guys like to participate in a night market in the U.S. Uh, I've been to the one in Taiwan a few times, a few different ones, but I'll show you guys what the U.S. is like. Okay, so the parking is $10 and then the RV is $20. And to get in, the, the individual ticket is $6 to get in and check out the line. It's crazy. Even though you buy the ticket, but to get in, oh my god. It is crazy long. I wonder if we could get a refund for the ticket because we bought it online. Um, yeah, just to get in the line. It's freaking long. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. I don't think it's worth it, guys. Not worth it. Okay, we finally made it. it took about a little bit over an hour. Right now is, uh, I believe, 9.05 or 9.10. It took more than an hour just to get in. It's crazy. See all the shops. Okay, at this moment we're just trying to find some food right now. Trying to get something to eat. That's a good box. Where's the food? Oh, here's the food. So this is the food area as you can see. Long line. Let's go food. They have game ticket. You can play game. Noodles. There's more on the other side. Hey, what's up guys? So just got back home. Um, took a long time. Um, so overall, I think it's definitely not worth it. If you guys never been to a 626 night market before, um, yeah, definitely go try it out. But I recommend you guys go early. Um, probably like they open between from 3 p.m. 3 o'clock afternoon to 11 p.m. So I, sh I recommend you guys should definitely go like during the afternoon. Even though it's hot, but wear like a hat or something because the line is extremely long. Even when you get inside the the night market, uh, if you want to buy some food, the line is extremely long as you see from the video. So anyway, I just got home. 
I personally don't think it's really worth it, so I wouldn't recommend anybody going it. Uh, I personally will not go again. Uh, but of course, if you have a group of people like 10 or 5, you know, if you guys just want to hang out and spend the Saturday, you know, um, just at the night market, I guess it's fine. You know, you could just chill and relax. And, you know, I see a lot of people um, have like blanket on the floor and just do like a picnic and type of thing. So I guess that's fine if you want plan to do that. But the line is way too long. Even if you try and get some kind of food, probably take at least 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and imagine all that food stand that they have. Um, there's no way you could try every single one of the food if you plan to buy them. And um, I found like a lot of the food is kind of pricey too. Um, I saw some of the food, uh, I think it just overpriced. I highly recommend, to me, I think it's probably worthwhile just go to a restaurant with your friend or something, kind of just hang out rather than, you know, I don't know, maybe go to San Francisco or something. They got those food trucks and all around, so yeah. Overall, I didn't think it's worth it. Um, to get into the the night market, man, that took a long time. Imagine the parking lot, first thing, the parking, it took a long time just to get into the parking lot, and you gotta pay $10 for that. And then you gotta wait about, like, well, I personally wait like one hour just to get wait in line, just to get inside the market. Um, so yeah, and then, I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. And you have, obviously, buy the ticket to get inside. Um, parking not, parking is not included. And then, when you get inside, you know, it's at least take about four or five hours. Uh, probably half a day of the day. That's why they probably start at three o'clock. Um, anyway, that's overall how I feel about the night markets for tonight. Um, if you guys never tried it before, um, definitely go uh, afternoon though, like right when they open. Um, yeah, if you have gone before, I personally don't think it's worthwhile to just to go again. And I see a lot of people bring their kids and their and their grandparents wheelchair and stuff like that. I don't know why would you bring your kid in like middle of the night at 10 p.m., 11 o'clock, um, and just wait in the line for that. It's not worth it. And especially during COVID, um, um, yeah. So anyway. Uh, it's actually my first time as well, and uh, I definitely didn't stay very long. I just got in, check it out, um, and then just left. That's about it. Anyway, that's all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.